you exactly. can your phone from friends. By yourself, from yes. friends, which comes down to Tony, living in yourself and being able to push Tony, yourself. Tony, I think, I think, to be honest, I think we should not, women should not expect, okay, you know you can change Lagos, you know you can change Nigeria. I don't think women should expect that someone should come and fund them or buy them a ticket, to be honest. Because if a man thinks, ah, I can be the governor of this state, the man will go for it. I think women should go for it the same way. And women should surround themselves with people that have the same vision. So don't go and meet a girl that including all she wants men. to do is just... Including, including men. Yes. Including, yes, including exactly. Men. exactly. So it should exactly. be all inclusive. Yes. Exactly. So women should not... Don't go and be friends with people that, oh, all they want to do is just give birth to, like, 20 children. <laughs> like, be friends with people Which that... Which is very... No, some women... True. That's that, True. True. Yeah, True. Yeah. Like, be, be very sincere. Uh, and, you know, the thing is, we must be the first people to help ourselves. Exactly. We have we have this issue. I don't want to call it a problem. Each touchy thoughts first. It touches me before it touches the man. So when I wake up in the morning, I should expect that I'm going to present myself in such a way that will show that yes, I am capable. I am qualified. I can handle it. When you find a situation that women always feel and that is the truth. Maybe because of the same thing that I've talked about, the fact that at the beginning we have been made to feel that we are supposed to get it easier. So they expect to get the forms mm. free. And once you begin from that point of you're being done a favor, exactly. then you do not exactly. expect to be placed on the same pedestal, pedestal as, as the, the person, person that pays for the for forms. It. Mm. So That's you important. ought to do, your, what does a man do to get to that point in his political career that he can pick up a form and vie for political office? Do it. Exactly. Do it. When we go to school, they, they give you mathematics. It is the same question they question give the man, man that they give to the woman. You don't exactly. get an easier set of questions. So if you want to be in political office, for goodness sake, and you're a woman, find out what men that are doing it do. On the study, do a little extra work. Get your funds together. It's not every man that picks up a form that has it all in his bank yeah. account. True. So find out, mobilize your, as she said, do not surround yourself by, with people that are not going where you're going to. Mm. You know, people that have the same mindset that people that are, that, you know, women that, are, that have decided, look, I am a person. My mother used to tell me, you are a person. You are a person. It's not about being, in my, growing up, my mother would say, the tire is down. It's in the garage. Everybody including me, will go and jack it up and change the tire. She, she really didn't seem to understand that I, I was the girl, you know. So surround yourself with people that have the same mindset, people that want to win. Doors, people who you expect know? men to pick We cannot be begging men, it. please give us. Exactly. And then and when they now give us them. more, we will not say they did not give uh, us equal enough. to what they took. What, no. what is that? How can um, I help because of that, you now you can't talk. You can't. Yes. You can't. You can't. Even you won't even be able to express yourself exactly. or even place a demand. So, so let me give you an you. example. So, I did this job of recent, and I mean, I was working, 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 working. And one of the guys said to somebody I was working with, and the guy was like, "Ah, hmm, you must pay her a lot." In my mind, I'm like, um, <laughs> "Okay, okay." And this was someone that was highly educated. This was someone that was highly, highly everything. So I was just like, I understood that he didn't do it from a point of, a point of, um, he didn't want to slight you. He just felt. Anything. It was just something. He just doesn't see you as a business owner. Exactly. It just feels that you, you, you must be working for the man. That exactly. And I understood at that point that I don't have, I don't have any point to prove to you. Mm. Well, the day you finally realize, then you think mm. about and say, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that kind mm. of thing. So I feel like, Women should stop trying to fight. Just yeah. do you. Work hard, succeed. Just do what you can do. And you will see that the sky is your limit. Because another thing is about this whole political thing. Politicians themselves like women that can speak up. Mm. Like women that can take charge. And they so, actually respect them. Exactly. So if you don't present yourself that way, if you don't dress nice, if you don't you don't say, oh, because I have a child, mm -hmm. then you start to look cool, all scrappy and everything. <laughs> like, you know, no, it's true. Because women, yeah. women forget that. Mm. Because a man will not say, oh, because I just had a child, I'll start looking scruffy or anything. The man will always look good at every point in time, whether he's helping with house chores or not. So women should also present themselves in that way that every time you go out, you're representing yourself at 100%. Every time you go out, you're looking like a leader. Every time you go out, you're speaking like a leader. And with that, I think the sky is our stepping stone. Okay, before we take um, our last words, uh, there's something I quickly wanted to chip in here. 
uh, the, the, the issue of um, breaking the bills. I know we came about it in our discussion. That yes. We need to separate the bills. Yes. I think the recommendation from our barrister in the last morning is that we remove the prohibition of uh, violence, violence against women exactly. as a separate uh, um, entity on its own. Yes. Let yes. it come as a separate entity, and then the gender equality comes. And if the bill could, could even be splitted into various... I, I even think that if you look at the provisions of this because let's let's of our cultural and religious um, preferences mm. in this country. That is the truth of the matter. And some of these things cannot be tackled by writing it down and the president gives his assent. Cannot be tackled by it. In fact, if you do that, you probably create more violence. Because people will, we, people will now, you know, be attacking, the, be attacking people. the women directly. Oh, is it because they said, therefore, mm -hmm. yeah. those are on your head? Mm -hmm. You know, so we need to, first of all, attack those norms, those mindsets. And it's a gradual thing. It's a gradual thing. This is like America, where it looks as if the woman has all the rights. It, it, they, have, they have so many, like, they have so many laws. Like there are about eight laws that have to do, laws that, that have to do with women. Have to do with women. You even have a law that has, they, they have what they call a federal housing act. Mm -hmm. So you come to Lagos State, I want to rent a house, and they say she's a woman. You can't do that. There's an act in America that protects that. A woman can rent a house, she can buy. You, you, you do not discriminate against me because I'm a woman as a landlord. You know, so it took them a whole lot of time to get rid of some of those cultural things that, that, that have impeded the acceptance of this bill. Oh, okay. So for and let us also, you know, pass it in stages. Mm. Let's be ready before we pass certain, we, we bring certain things into that into bill. That let's bill. Come prepared. Okay. Yes, let's come prepared. Let's educate people. The, the section 16 of that bill talks, I mean, section 18, I think, talks about you know, inculcating into the school curriculum what they call peace studies. Peace studies, where you begin to teach children things that will make them to see men, male and female, as equals. We have to, you know, bridge those things that can bridge some of those cultural, um, cultural mindsets. Okay. Because if okay. we do not have it, we're wasting our time. It will just be written on paper <laughs> and not achieve anything. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll take a last for Mr. Udushola Stevenson so that we can run up. I, I think the most important thing that she has, that she has said, they need to break down the law, the uh, equal opportunity for all, that might fight, uh, you know, in terms of violence against any, anybody for that matter. Okay. And the second thing that what I'd like to say is that to quickly tell women, don't work alone, work together. Mm. If you want to go far, mm. go together. If you want to go fast, you can decide to go alone. Okay. So, I, I think that's right. okay, that's all we can take on AM Chat this morning. It's been a fun time. I'm sure that you enjoyed yourself. We've been talking about the Gender and Equal Opportunities Bill, why it failed. Um, we've heard a lot. I'm sure I don't have to recap. Um, I don't have to do a recap on all that we have heard this morning. But, you know, we're going to bring you another interesting topic next week. I want to thank every resource person that is in the studio this morning. Mr. Odishola Stevenson was with us. He's a publisher. We have uh, Ms. Miriam Anima Shao and we had Barista Okuchichima. Thank you all.